Normally this time of the year brings harsh, bitter, cold winter temperatures and deep pile of snow in our area. Thankfully, this past couple of weeks we were blessed with a milder temperature. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this fluffy white stuff that we used to make frost in the snowman. Stay tuned. Hey friends, welcome to Loy Plus Trivia. My channel is about fun and educational videos about ordinary things and events. I make it even more interesting by making you answer trivia questions throughout the video. I hope you have fun and enjoy watching the video. This soft fluffy white stuff we call snowflake is made up of individualized crystals suspended in the cloud when the temperature is extremely low. These ice crystals grow as they bump and stick into each other when the conditions inside the cloud are just right. Because these conditions are always changing, the flakes inside the clouds change too. Once the snowflakes has taken shape, its journey has just begun. After bouncing around in the cloud for a while, it falls to the ground. And as it falls, it keeps changing depending on the temperature, the amount of water in the air, and other things like winds that it passes through. This is why there's very little chance for two snowflakes to be alike. Are you ready for some trivia questions? For my friends in Canada and in the US, I'm sure you already know all about snow. Hmm, let's see if you can answer all these trivia questions. Would you believe there's a law in one of New York State cities that banned snow from falling? Which city in New York State made snow illegal? Is it A. Albany, B. New York, or C. Syracuse? The answer is C. This actually happened on March 30, 1992. The Syracuse Common Council unanimously passed the following resolution. Be it resolved, on behalf of the snow-weary citizens of the city of Syracuse, any further snowfall is expressly outlawed in the city of Syracuse until December 24, 1992. Amazing! Mm -hmm. Of course, this resolution didn't stop the snow from falling then, or even now. Uh -oh. After this was passed, the city had several inches of snow a few days later. It gave many a good laugh in central New York then, and it still does today. Remember that ever-changing conditions that make each snow flow unique? Though there are countless patterns a snowflake can end up with, it always begins with a common basic shape. Is it A. Hexagon, B. Square, or C. Circle? A is the correct answer. Snowflakes are frozen water and the particles that make up water have a very specific shape. Look like the letter V. And when enough of these particles stick together, they form shapes that have six sides called hexagons. That's your most basic shape of snow crystal. But if there's enough water around, then more water particles will attach at the little points of that six-sided crystal each becoming an arm or a branch. Now let's talk about color. Although ice by itself is translucent or almost clear, snow usually appears white in color because the ice crystals reflect all colors from the light spectrum. And because the reflected color depends on available light, don't be surprised when snow appears to be reddish or pinkish during sunset or bluish when close to a blue light source. Snow color also is affected by the particles present in the air like dust and smoke as the snowflake develops. Moving on to size. Do you know how big the largest snowflake on record is? Is it A. 3 inches, B. 10 inches, or C. 15 inches?
answer is C. The biggest recorded snowflake was found in Fort Keogh in Montana on January 28, 1887. U.S. Army personnel deployed in that area reported these 15-inch giant snowflakes falling. Continuing to our next trivia question, where can you find the snowiest place in the world? Is it in A. Canada, B. Japan, or C. USA? Contrary to popular belief, it is not in Canada or the USA where the snowiest place in the world is. So the answer is B, Japan. Aomori, Sapporo, and Toyama, all in Japan, were ranked the top three places in the world that received the most amount of snow every year. In Aomori, at the highest peak of the Hakoda Mountains, it receives about 26 feet of snow which is more than enough to bury an adult giraffe standing up. Don't worry, no animal was harmed in making this video. <laughs> Where can you find the tallest snowman in the world? Is it in A. Austria, B. Belgium, or C. Canada? The answer is A, Austria. In December 2020, Austria broke the Guinness World Record previously held by the people of Bethel in Maine, USA. The snowman, nicknamed Risi, which roughly translates as giant in English, measures a gigantic 38.04 meters. They used snow cannons to build up a hump of compact snow 30 meters wide in a process that took 40 days. This clump of snow reminds me of another passage from the prophet Isaiah when he wrote the following in chapter 1, starting at verse 13. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Like a forgiving father waiting for his lost son, God desires us to return to him. Our sins shall be cleansed if we return and begin to obey Him. I hope you have fun watching this video. God bless you. If you liked this video and enjoyed answering the trivia questions, please consider subscribing. Please click the notification button before you go so you'll know when another video is out. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new.